How are we doing today? I'm Alex Drayson here with Sport Performance U in Norwalk, Connecticut. We're going to talk about the appropriate throwing arm for a quarterback today. One of the biggest problems I see a lot of times with quarterback warming up is they don't use the time very productively. Yeah, their arm gets warm, but really you could take this time to work on mechanics. That's what we're going to talk about today is what sort of drills you want to do during the throwing warm up to make sure we're working on mechanics. Okay, the first thing we want to work on, at least that I want to work when we do a throwing, uh, throwing warm up, is making sure we get separation between the hips and shoulders. So, the first one we do is keep our feet square to our target. Some people call it cement, whatever you want to do. Feet square, make sure that right hip stays in place. We don't want that right hip to rotate back. We're going to try to create some separation. So, right hip is square, my left shoulder turns back. That's going to give me the separation that I need. Okay, that separation is going to create some power, it's going to create some torque. That's the best way uh, when you start your warm up to start making sure you're activating the right muscles. So, I'm going to rotate right there, turn my shoulder back. The one thing you're going to have to look out for in this portion of the warm up is because the lower body normally starts the motion, you don't have the lower body anymore, a lot of quarterbacks start the motion by dropping the football down. We don't want to let them drop the football down. So when they turn back here, make sure they bring that football straight back up to 90 and then they rotate through and throw. So, first, first portion here, square feet, hip square, rotate, arm up, throw. That's the first part. Once you've done five or ten throws like that, we're going to make it a little more difficult, but keep the same concept in mind. I'm just going to stagger my right foot in front, my left foot back, okay? Same goals here, trying to keep my right hip in place, blocking it even a little bit further, try to get some separation. My shoulders are pointing towards my target, but this hip is square forwards, okay? I've turned it, arm goes straight back up to 90. What we're going to do now is I'm going to squeeze my left glute as I start to go through, okay? That's going to help start to create some rotation. Your glutes really do power rotation when you throw. So, rotate back, arm goes up to 90 as you come through the throw, extend from that glute so you start using the right muscles. Square, rotate, throw, okay? Next, we're going to drop to a knee. My right knee is going to stay up, my left knee is down. Most warm-ups do it the other way. It's really easy to throw the other way, and I think that's why they do it. However, we want to make it more difficult. We're trying to get them to focus on activating the right muscles. So, my right knee is up, my left knee is down again. I'm going to rotate. That's going to help me create even more separation. This position forces me to fire my left glute. Okay, it's not optional because my left hip is extended and my right hip is flexed. That left glute's going to have to fire. Okay, so my left glute here is already being squeezed. It's already working. Rotate. Arm goes up to 90 and then come through nice and powerfully. Right there, right there, okay? Once we've done that, we feel like we've activated the glutes enough that we can start working on a more uh, game simulated throw. So, we do what we call perfect form. All we're gonna do is just take a nice angled step as if we're gonna throw directly ahead to our target. I'm just gonna take one small step back and then step forward and throw the way I would in the game. What we're trying to start to focus on now is the transition, okay? When I start moving from backwards to forwards, that simulates a game. We drop and then we throw. So, take one step back, start by rotating that hip forwards, just like we want to do, just like we try to get separation. Still keep getting the separation between the hips and shoulders. One step back, forwards and separate. Okay, that's how we're going to throw. One step back, forwards and separate. Okay? The next portion, what we're going to do, just going to advance that. We're going to do what I call snake steps. Some coaches call it four or five. Basically, just the bottom of your drop. You're going to take those last two little steps, step forward and rotate. Again, I'm working on getting separation between my hips and shoulders. My hips are way out in front of my shoulders. Okay, that again helps us create power. So, snake steps, one, two, separation and throw. Okay? Once we've done that, the quarterback's probably standing about 10, 15 yards apart during this whole time, five or ten throws at each. We're going to move on to long toss, which is going to be done just the same. Snake steps. Rotate, but this time I'm going to rotate up a little taller, give my shoulders on a slightly different plane so the ball flies a little bit higher, okay? That's going to help us work on the downfield throw. What you're going to want to see is the nose of the football begin to turn down. That's generally a sign that our hips are coming through properly and that our elbow was kept up nice and high, okay? Our elbow is in the right position. So, we get our long toss, two steps, rotate the hips, let that arm come through, make sure the nose of that football turns down. That's really going to give you the most out of your throwing warm-up. Make sure you're working on something, making sure you're improving as you do your warm-up. That's our football drill of the day. Thanks for watching SPU.